I'm Scott with Sean's Photography, and today I'm going to go over the Cheetah Light V860X. It's so new, it doesn't even have a manual for this guy. So, here we have a look at the V860C and the V862C. This is so new, they we don't even have the Cheetah Stand logo on it. Alright, so I'm going to be going over the functions. Pretty much, if you look at both of them, they have changed a lot. Now this one has a better dot matrix screen, has a lot more buttons across the, the back unit than the old version. So I'll be right back and then we'll jump into the V860X. Alright, here is the V860X. Uh, this is so new, they, when they sent this out, they didn't have time to put the Cheetah logo on it. And, of course, there's no manual for it. So, therefore, we're going without a manual. Here we are. The ETTL, the manual, the multiple flash functions are all the same, like on the 360 video. So, look to that to get the same information here. The only other things on this one is there's a zoom button. So I can actually zoom my flash where the 360 doesn't have that. So that's different on this. On both, these two buttons are your reset buttons. So if you're having a troubleshooting problem, you can set this back to factory defaults by clicking those two buttons. The mode button, if you hold it down, it'll lock the screen so you can't um, move anything or adjust anything. Or if someone's walking by, they can't mess with your stuff. To unlock it, you just hold it back down. Again, we'll just go in through here. This right now we're in ETTL uh, Auto Flash. We'll go to the Wireless Select button. This changes this to uh, Optical ETTL, and this is the Master. Now we are in TTTL um, Slave. Now we're in Radio Master. In radio slave so those are the functions uh, the manual functions are the same the multiple functions are the same as the 360 video let's go into the custom functions so we'll hold down the custom function button let's go all the way to the top we have meters and feet I set mine to feet go to the next one this is for auto off so when the flash at a certain time will just shut off and I like to leave mine on because I don't like to have to try to wake it up in sleep mode um, this is your, it's flash exposure um, I'm gonna leave that one on this one here's your flash exposure how the order goes I like to have mine negative to zero to plus but you can actually change it back to um, this original which is zero negative and plus This is the auto focus assist beam. I leave mine on. This is AVAPOT, which is, again, there's no manual. So it has to deal with something about that has a timer on it. So I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm not a tech person. Um, the next one is beep. I turned it to on. This one here is your light. You can adjust it to off. Uh, 12 seconds and on and I'm gonna leave mine on on here's the LCD display I'm, I always put mine at 9 as you can see we're running version 1.2 firmware I'm pretty sure there will be another firmware update before these come out so um, that's pretty much of that of your custom functions and was we'll go back to our main menu Again, this is the V860X by Cheetah Stand. My name is Scott with Sean Photography, and thank you for watching.